Hello language learners, it's Maddie here again, back with English with Maddie for another reading practice video. This week in our new article, we are going to be talking about equality, specifically gender equality, and one very interesting way in which that can come up in sports across the world. I don't know if we have any other Harry Potter fans watching this. I, for one, have always been a huge, huge fan since the very beginning. And so today you can tell just from the topic of this article why I am bringing that up. Today we are reading an article called Quidditch and Equality. So this week we're diving into the intermediate level text. As you can see, it's just over one page long, and we are going to learn about how gender equality plays a role both in and out of the wizarding world of Harry Potter. So, as I mentioned, we are looking at the intermediate level article this week. If it feels too challenging, there will be a beginner level article you can find in the description box through that link on the English with Maddie website. And of course, there will be a listening practice, vocabulary study guides, all of those things. So even if this level feels perfect, go ahead and click that link to find the article and everything else. Otherwise, if you like, you can just follow along. I will put all of the words on the bottom of the screen so you don't need anything else. You can just listen and read along with me. So let's get started. Quidditch and equality. Few could have predicted the popularity of the fantasy series Harry Potter when it was first released in 1997, nor could they have predicted how much the series would live on even 20 years later. The book also produced the idea for a game that is now officially played all over the world. Quidditch started as a mere idea in a children's novel, but today it spreads joy and equality as an official sport. In the book series, Quidditch is a game where two teams play together on a field, flying above the ground on broomsticks and trying to score the most points. Athletes wear robes and pass or try to catch balls that are capable of flying on their own as well. Of course, in the real world, athletes are not yet capable of flying on broomsticks. However, despite these challenges in carrying out the original game, something similar has been created with rules and regulations upheld by the IQA or International Quidditch Association. The association was formed in 2012 and hosted their first Quidditch tournament the same year. Initially, there were only five teams that participated in the competition, but as the years went by, more and more teams were present. By 2018, teams from 29 different countries participated in the competition. Teams that are a part of this international association are required to hold brooms between their legs the entire time they are on the playing field. Each ball from the original game is represented in some way, including the golden snitch. The golden snitch initially was a tiny floating flying orb with delicate wings and in the real life version of the game is transformed into a tennis ball carried by a neutral person wearing yellow and running about the field trying not to be caught. Most important of all though, is the rule to maintain gender equality. Each team of seven players is allowed a maximum of four people of any given gender including those that do not identify as male or female. This firm rule has allowed equality and equal opportunity to spread as far as Uganda, where one teacher started his own Quidditch team to demonstrate to his students 
that women are capable of being on the same physical and metaphorical playing field as men. It is with such games that might seem like a silly way to pass the time that important ideals like equality can spread throughout the world, allowing for the potential for a brighter and more equal tomorrow. So this is the intermediate level of the Quidditch and equality text. I have a study guide full of comprehension questions and vocabulary words, as you can see, highlighted in this list, as well as you can find them in bold in the reading for easy searching and studying. This intermediate level text mentioned how equality and the game of Quidditch are being used in countries such as Uganda. And if you are curious to know more and if this level felt comfortable for you, please check out the advanced version of this article in the link below. There are additional details in that version. You can also do some research on your own if the idea of playing Quidditch or this International Quidditch League seemed exciting to you. As I mentioned in the article, there are at this point more than 29 countries that participate in this International Quidditch League. So if you are interested, not just in the English practice, but in the game of Quidditch, go ahead and do a little bit of research to find out more. Let me know what was challenging, what was exciting, what was your favorite part or thing that you learned from this article down below in the comments section. I'm always so excited to hear from you guys and hear what you think and what you enjoy learning or what you find the most challenging. And until I see you next time for some more reading practice and other additional series on English with Maddie, happy studying.